Everybody get Watch out! Watch out, everybody! Watch out! Oh my god! Oh my god! Hundreds without power after snow pummels Vancouver Island, South Coast, Satina Island and Salt Spring Island residents told to expect darkness overnight, a winter storm battered Vancouver Island on Tuesday as heavy snowfall prompted closures, cancellations and travel warnings. As of 11 p.m. Pacific Time Tuesday, 589 customers in the region were without power, according to BC Hydro, who warned electricity may not be restored until Wednesday, in a notice posted online, the power provider said heavy snow and down trees caused more than two. 800 outages on Vancouver Island Tuesday, but crews are working around the clock to make repairs. People living on Satina Island and Musgrave Landing on Salt Spring Island were told fixes are unlikely until December 21st around noon. BC Ferries, Local Transit and the Victoria Airport all faced cancellations on Tuesday morning after some areas, including Nanaimo, reported up to 30 centimeters of snowfall overnight. Snowfall and high winds continued through the morning but snowfall and extreme cold warnings were lifted by Environment Canada on Tuesday afternoon. Environment Canada meteorologist Jonathan Bow said Tuesday was on track to see the 10th most snowfall in a single day in Victoria on record. Sonich resident Mariah Clemens was plowing streets and parking lots in the city through the night and arrived home at 6.30 a.m. to have to shovel her own driveway. It's been crazy, she said. Victoria doesn't usually get this much snow. Sonich Mayor Dean Murdoch asked residents to stay home if they can on Tuesday and reminded people to shovel their sidewalks. Mobility will be an issue, the sooner we're able to get these sidewalks clear, the safer it will be for everybody, highways contractor Emkin Services on southern Vancouver Island says more than 25 centimeters of snow fell overnight, there was limited visibility on Vancouver Island roads Tuesday morning as heavy snowfall persisted. Manager Stuart Westwood said 40 trucks were out working to clear the roads. He reminded drivers not to pass plows, drivers, think they can get by and if they get hit with a whoolup of snow, it'll be taking their windows out, Westwood said, Rod Hunchak with the Victoria Airport says most arrivals and departures on Tuesday were cancelled or delayed, he advised travelers to check with their air carriers and the airport website for updates on the status of their flights. Crews are working to ensure roads and runways are clear for drivers and planes. Hunchak added, BC Ferries cancelled morning sailings on all three of its major routes between Vancouver Island and the Lower Mainland due to the weather. Spokesperson Deborah Marshall is advising anyone planning to travel with BC Ferries to watch for updates on sailings. A spokesperson for BC Transit says all service in Victoria and the Cowichan Valley has been suspended.